Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower, and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is a Runic. He's in a tier 10. This says a tier 10 game on um, uh, Glacier, right? It's Glacier. I'm not an idiot. Yes. I've remembered the name of one map. It's a good day. <laughs> it's in the object 277. This is one of the more overpowered tanks in tier 10, in my opinion. Um, Nah, it's just, it's, uh, I guess it hasn't been in the game long enough for people to really know how to kill it, and so because of that, they're treating it um, in ways they shouldn't, and it's kind of funny to watch occasionally. So we're going to watch somebody be stupid trying to kill this thing, I'm sure. Uh, and also, obviously, if you know how to play it, then you can play it that much better, and I'm sure Ronak knows exactly what he's doing in this thing. So, let's see him as he basically starts acting like a medium tag. He's gonna he hash these guys completely by surprise because he did that. Unfortunately, the first shot takes out his gun. So that's gonna be annoying. Um, that's that's all fine though. And while he reloads, I'm just gonna make sure everything is in fact rolling. Yep, we, we are recording! Good. As he goes ahead and ooh, he's looking to put a shot into the, the ice object. Sorry. I thought that was an ISM for some reason. But no, that is an Object 257, which is probably where my brain went. And, um, there's two I-7s over there. Um, keep in mind that it's actually over there, and I can't actually see the camera right now because of the way I am recording. So, sorry if I point in the wrong directions. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, E-100 sneaking up on our flank, but it's an E-100, and they're kind of big. So sneaking isn't really something you can do in an E-100. Whereas getting shot definitely is. This guy is definitely trying to get his gun down far enough to shoot us. He can't get anything. Uh, any kind of traction as far as, like, actual... Seriously, he's just going to come completely over the ridge line. Okay, well, that's one dead enemy E-100. If you want to kill your tank, that is the best way to do it charge straight at the enemy without any idea of how to leave or how to kill them or how to do anything but die. Uh, he didn't even get any damage off as far as I know. So, you know, that's interesting. Definitely not the best way to play World Tanks, but still the way there are definitely people that play it that way still. Uh, the Arctic 257 has fired at us and back back in cover. But of course, as soon as it peeks out now, we're actually going to have a beautiful shot at his drive wheel. Unfortunately, we don't do damage with that. But he does return a shell into our lower glacis. So, I guess the 257 ended up getting the better part of that deal. So, and now he just comes charging out, and we trade him 20, or 400 damage for 500 damage. Probably not worth it, except we're gonna get a second hit on him, because there's no way he gets to cover in time. And no, we bounced! Unfortunate, unfortunate right there. That should've been an easy 500 damage. Um, which would have been really nice. It would have definitely made up for the fact that we took 800 damage to dish out 500 damage. Um, you know, 800 for a thousand is a trade I'll take every day all the time. But um, that's not what ended up happening. Bulldog is going after our scout. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna, oh, look at this. He's just gonna wander through the open huh? Nice shot. Aim that really well. That is a hard shot to make against the scout that's going full speed so far across the map. Ironic timed that really well and fired. Uh, don't forget, he doesn't have any APCR on the tank. So if you see him making long shots like that, that is all timing. He has to time it, hit APCR, and just like click it. No, but it's all got to be done the old fashioned way. T44 decided he could take on, you know. The, the 277. Unfortunately, I didn't realize this rock was going to get up there between his reloads and then angle himself so the poor guy couldn't do anything else against us. And uh, it left him in a really bad spot as far as what he could do. It does put Ronick in a nice commanding position, though, overlooking the enemies. He's going to be able to get shots as they decide to tr cross here. Uh, I don't think anybody spotted him. Because that I-7 was all the way across, and so they have no ideas here until right about now. And at this point in time, it's a bit late. They are going to get great shots into his side, though. 
That WZ though is just a sitting duck. We're so high up. We're just gonna shoot down into his armor and be perfectly fine doing that. Ronak though is gonna make for cover as this IS-7 is gonna reload and tag us one more time. And Ronak gets back into cover. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get up to where he wanted before he got lit. I'm sure he had a spot way up there where he could do some real damage, but that's not where he got to. And so now he's gonna be left. Excellent. Hi, Mr. Indian Panzer. I mean, if you're not gonna guard us from doing this again, there's no reason why we can't do this again. And, yep, the I-7s are just leaving the Indian to die. Oh, except we bounced. Okay, I, I guess that'll work. Um, I-7s have figured out that there's an issue. One of them looks like he's coming back to deal with Ronick. Um, with 118 health, he can't do a whole lot. This guy. Is this Indian gonna walk out far enough that we can shoot him? Looks like he is. Hi, did you know we can shoot through your gun mantle? If you didn't before, you do now. 257 has cr crossed the center of the map and is gonna start dishing damage into our back line. AMX here is gonna be in a tough spot where he can't go backwards and he can't go forwards. If Ronick doesn't start dishing damage into these IS-7 soon, this is gonna go downhill for the team. Uh, missing that shot is gonna be unfortunate. I, I think personally he needs to back up all the way and start looking to kill that object. Which is apparently the same thing he does like, ooh, T-30 in the open, T-30 in the open. Uh, blind shot, because, yeah, I would have taken that one too. And the object is in the little crevasse that not, but it gets taken out by the Centurion 71. I guess he must have been low health, and the Centurion just badgered and bullied him and really got to where he wanted them. And then he took him out. Ronick switching directions again. Uh, he has only two standard AP shells left. After that, he's going to have to go with the gold because it's the only thing left in his, you know, inventory. Looking for the shot. Can he get? Yes. Okay. Well, okay. apparently we don't need to take the shot because the walk for Tiger already did. Um, looking for another shot. Looking for some cover. He's going to try and get up and above this guy so he can shoot down into him, even while he's in cover from the AMX. Don't know if this works, but apparently Ronak thinks it will. Oh, actually, oh yeah. Yeah, that definitely worked. And then he just retreats, rolls back a little bit, and he's in cover. And he's gonna, just gonna reload and put another shell into this guy. Oh, he's gonna have to push further up the ramp than that. He doesn't have much left of this ramp. This IS-7 knows it. He knows that he has to go through this AMX right now. Oh! And he is going through the AMX. We got one more shot before this IS-7 is going to be rampaging around. And there we go. Ooh. Not enough to kill him, but the Waffachar takes him out from, again, way up the hill. And now it is a six on two. As it looks like the rest of our team wiped up the rest of theirs. And there's only a VK... 101p and an STRV somewhere. Now the STRV is still an STRV. It's still a tier 9. It's still deadly. So if he gets in range, then he's going to have no worries putting shots through us. VKP apparently is wandering around the nowhere zone doing something. Um, Runa gets a ch you know, he's just going to take him apart from here. Poor guy is gonna, not going to stand a chance. Um, STRV seems to be what the rest of our team is concentrating on. So Ronix is going to go ahead and get some damage in on this guy. Um, and looks like the Waffen Charger wants him too. Take a shot here in a second. Nope, not going to finish the guy off. Obviously does take a shot though. And Ronix is going to be able to get... Nope. Nope. The uh, Waffen Charger reloads pretty fast for somebody else. Somebody did. Ah. Yeah, that was the other one for Okay. <laughs> okay. So now, I don't know where Ronick's gonna go, but that's not a great place to go. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, cool. Then jump up. Do a cliff jump. Do a cliff dive. Oh, that's a great shot. Look at that. 
Master Badge First Class. I forgot to turn my light on. Oops. Um, <laughs> Bruiser, Hand of God, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Effect, Shellproof. He gets four bonds for that. Oh, uh, Steel Wall, and of course the High Caliber. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good game. Um, he definitely did a lot of cliff climbing. That's dead. That's why it's not on. <laughs> Great. Um, these two, without a doubt, if these two hadn't been in this game, this game would have been um, a lot of a different story. Um, Ronic with 7,000 damage, and the WZ with 6,800. Um, they definitely carried the rest of the team. It's kind of sad at tier 10 how many folks didn't do a thousand damage, right? But well done. Thank you so much, Ronic, for saying this. And even well, whatever he's running, apparently he still loses money, which is sad. But, um, I mean, he's firing gold. That's just what happens if you bounce or miss or whatever. Um, unfortunately, he didn't have a choice in this game because it went on so long. He went through all of his standard ammo. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much, Ronick, for saying this in. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for the patience of letting me put this game out today and say yesterday I had technical issues where I recorded the game and turned out I had already recorded that game. And by the time I figured that out, I just... It didn't work. <laughs> I didn't have time anymore. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you all later. This IOE's are out.